I'll start with this. Two hands, putting it to work. The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. And I just remind myself, all right, I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island. We couldn't live in Hawaii. We had no place to live. It, it's also a lot easier to let go of something when you're deciding to let go of it because you've decided yourself that it's, you're done with that. It's a weak part of you. It needs to disappear. People can live with themselves. That's the first thing. A lot of people can live with themselves, look in the mirror and say, I'm okay with being afraid. You know, a lot of us are going through a hard time in life. Some people have been bullied, some people are just stressed out, some people are insecure, some people are fat and overweight. I leave home like you guys left home. I'm ready to tackle the world, get after it, achieve my dreams and goals. Crushed by 22, 23 years old, I'm, now I gotta move back in with my mom and dad. A lot of what people regard as their own personalities and, and are proud of about their own personalities aren't their own personalities at all. They're useless idiosyncrasies that differentiate them trivially from other people. You have to first be uncomfortable with how you feel about yourself. With that voice that a lot of us like to run away from, we all have it. And if I could be who I needed to be, what would that look like? Self-deception and arrogance. To be proud of your insufficiency, that's a very foolish thing. And that means to cling to the parts of you that are dead. So we first have to face the real you who knows I'm weak, who knows I'm afraid, who says, whatever you think about me, take it, whatever, I'm here. At some point, you gotta be tired of not being number one. You have to accept what you're not. You have to, and people don't wanna do that. And that's the only way you can fix it. You have to accept it first before you can go on the journey. As you elevate your aim, you create a judge at the same time. The new ideal, which is an ideal you, becomes a judge because it's above you, right? And then you're, you're terrified of it, maybe. Who they want to be, they act like they are, but they're not because they haven't fixed all this stuff yet. You got to fix this first before we can start our journey in life. Get rid of everything about yourself that isn't perfect. There's nothing you can't accomplish. The other end of suffering is a world that very few have ever seen. The judge that you're creating by formulating the ideal tells you what's useless about yourself and then you can dispense with it. People are writing you off. It should drive you. It should. It works for me. It should drive you. You're setting the example every single day of your life. You may retire, but you ain't never come back home, man. Now you're judged.